Today in the show, I'm going to be telling you who Scarlet Witch is. So Scarlet Witch, she is one of the more important characters in the Marvel Universe, but I'm not actually sure if she's an A-list character because she doesn't really do much outside of Avengers stories. She doesn't really stand as her own icon. She stands as a part of the Avengers. Still, nonetheless, she's affected the universe in so many ways that even if she's not an A-list character, she's an incredibly high B-list character. Ironically, even though she's mostly known as an Avengers character, she first appeared in X-Men number 4 in 1964 alongside her brother Quicksilver as members of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Then in issue number 16 of the Avengers, she would join the team and she would stay with the team until issue number 49, where she would just disappear without explanation for two whole years. But she would later reappear in Avengers issue number 75 and stick with the team for an incredibly long time. It's during this run that she became a pillar in the Avengers mythos and stuck it out with the team until Avengers number 503 in 2004. Scarlet Witch has never had her own ongoing title, but she has been the star of several limited series, including Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, The Vision and Scarlet Witch, and Scarlet Witch. A common misconception about Scarlet Witch is that she's just a mutant. In fact, she's a mutant that can also use magic. So let's go over her mutant powers first. Her mutant powers are that of probability manipulation. This ability has a whole range of uses, such as opening doors, lighting things on fire, stopping bullets, but it is limited to Scarlet Witch's line of sight. Now, when it comes to her magic, she is able to tap into the chaos of the universe and do things that should not happen at all. Things that there is zero probability of happening, like bringing people back to life or changing reality as a whole. In the Ultimate Universe, there is a version of Scarlet Witch, but this version of Scarlet Witch only has hexes, and to use probability manipulation, she has to do the math first. Basically, she has to figure out how likely something is to happen before she can make it happen. So we all know that Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are the twin children of Magneto, but the truth is they didn't grow up with their father and they didn't know their father was their father till quite late in their life. In fact, Madga, the wife of Magneto, ran away while pregnant with the children. Magda would eventually arrive at Wondergore and give birth to both twins, and it's here that Chithon, the Elder God, would mutate Scarlet Witch's already existing mutation to allow her to use magic. He wanted to do this because when Wanda's abilities would eventually mature to their peak, he could then use Wanda as a vessel for himself, which is obviously a horrible thing to do, but it did make Wanda incredibly powerful. Magda would eventually die and Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver would be put into care, but one day Scarlet Witch would use her abilities and accidentally cause a fire, killing one of their adoptive parents, making the two of them have to run away from a mob, and it's here that Magneto would swoop in and save both of them and recruit them as members for the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. It is worth mentioning that the two of them had no idea about their connection to Magneto at this point, and Magneto had no idea that he was looking at his children. It was just a huge coincidence, because comics. So Magneto would later on be abducted, and the twins would just kind of be like, eh, we don't care, he's a guy that saved us, but he made us do bad things, and we're not bad people. So the twins would join the Avengers instead of saving Magneto. So you can't talk about Wanda without talking about House of M. And House of M is a huge event and I do want to do its own video, but it's so in depth and there are so many things going on in that event that I can't really get into it in this video in too much detail. But what you need to take note of is a while ago, like back in 1985, Scarlet Witch and Vision were in a romantic relationship. In fact, they were married, but obviously because Vision was an android, the two of them couldn't have children, so Scarlet Witch used magic to get herself pregnant. It turned out that the children were actually made of missing soul shards from the demon Mephisto, and Mephisto would eventually absorb the children back 
into him. There was no way of saving them, and this made Mephisto incredibly powerful. Agatha Harkness, one of the most skilled magic users in the world, had to totally erase the memories of ever having children from Wanda's mind, so she could defeat Mephisto herself, because she was really the only one that could do it. Years down the line, like in 2004, Wasp is making fun of Wanda behind her back. He's basically bitching about her attempts at motherhood, but Wanda overhears this and doesn't remember ever having kids. So she goes to Doctor Doom to try and bring her children back to life. And to do this, she has to merge with a cosmic entity. And upon doing so, she goes insane and blames the Avengers for the loss of her children. Vision is killed, Hawkeye is almost killed, and Wanda is only stopped by Doctor Strange, but at this point, both the Avengers and the X-Men think there is no turning back for Wanda, so they think they have to kill her, but Wanda by this point is actually in Magneto's care. Quicksilver would then turn up and convince Wanda to change reality so everyone has their heart's deepest desires fulfilled. This is where the House of M universe was created, and naturally it would be stopped. And when everyone came back to reality, Magneto would find out what Quicksilver did, and he would kill Quicksilver, and Wanda would bring him back to life. But by this point, she was so sick of mutants, she uttered the words, no more mutants, and depowered 90% of the mutant population, including Magneto and Quicksilver. After this, she would go into hiding to live a normal life, and she wouldn't return till some years later in an event called Children's Crusade. There's obviously a lot more to it than that, but that is the very compressed and shortened version. It's probably one of my favorite comic book storylines because of the lead up to it, not necessarily the event itself. The event itself I just kind of brushed over. I love Scarlet Witch with a passion, but I think it's because I identify with Billy, one of her kids, so much that I just kind of see her as almost a fictional motherly figure. And I know that sounds really weird to say because that's the first time I've said it out loud and it sounds really weird out loud. I wasn't sure if I was gonna ever speak about her because I love her so much, but I realized lots of people really love this character and I want to do her justice. So expect about a 30% increase of Scarlet Witch content on this channel. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of Scarlet Witch? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics, and it is super effective. Thank you.